it has been said that one choice can transform you. One choice can define you. One choice can destroy you. This is my story. indeed amazing grace amazing grace that saved a wretch like me you know thank you sister Keandra for that item of special music you know Ella Charles as I would have listened to that special music it reminded me of a story in the book of Luke chapter 15 it's about the prodigal son and how he would have told his father he just wanted to go his own way and do his own thing and then eventually he would have spent out his inheritance and realized his folly and decided to come home. You see, this is a parable for us today that when we walk and stray from God and his goodness and his grace, he is still there for us when we choose to accept him again and come home. Would anyone like to testify? I see our head deacon is putting up his hand to testify. Brother Brian, come and tell us about God's goodness. Thank you very much, Pastor Nicholas. Thanks very much. Brethren, today is a special day in the life of the Bartholomew family. And we want to publicly thank God for all that he has been doing for us. But in a special way, we want to thank God for our son, Jordan. Folks, Jordan is high on academics. He's well disciplined and dedicated to higher education. And it is only this week. This week, Carl? Yes. This week, Carl and I got some fantastic news that our son, our son Jordan, received a national scholarship. We say to God be the glory. Yes. 
God is doing marvelous things in our family's life. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. Folks, we also want to thank God for our baby girl, Anaya. Anaya, too, has done well. She received some award or something in art. In art, in art, in art. She received an award from the university in art, and we say, we say thank you, God, for Anaya also. Amen. So we want to bless God for both our children. Amen. But please remember that Jordan is off to university in September. To God be the glory. Thank you, God, for your blessings. Amen. Amen. Excuse me, that's on. Um, Dad, we could have a word, please. Yeah, you better make it quick, Jordan, because people too stay outside, eh? Okay. Why would you tell everyone that I'm going back to school in September when, you know, we had a word about me taking a year off before university? Jay, we spoke about that already, you know. Jordan, you know, your path with the success is peeled already. It's undergrad. It's master's, it's PhD. Hear what? I know you're tired. Your mom and I spoke, and yes, I know she is trying to arrange a summer job for you. Let me talk with her again, and see if we could allow you to take the full summer off. And after that, we think about university, all right? Yeah, but dad. But dad, nothing, son. But dad, nothing. Summer off with all your friends, and then university in September. Now help me with these drinks. Right? Okay. Yes, grandson. What your father was telling you is the right thing. You know you's my favorite grandson, and I want the best for you. So go and enjoy yourself with your friends and them, okay? Go and wait to put this phone. Huh? Mom, phone again? Yes, boy. Put it close by the counter now. G, let's organize and drop these juice outside, all right? Oh my gosh, Anaya, look at this nice painting. You did this? Anybody wants sweet bread? Auntie Sharon, look at this nice painting Anaya did. Whoa, she's quite the artist, isn't she? Yes. That's my award-winning cousin. <sighs> so and now I got a child to fall asleep. When is the award ceremony? You know I have to come. Well, you know it's not a big of a deal, right? Of course it is. What, Anaya? The university just recognizing what we already knew. You have an amazing God-given talent, girl. Look at those things. Yes, Anaya, we are very proud of you. Mm -hmm. I want to come. We have to go shopping. Well, the ceremony is supposed to be next month and already got invitations from our Monday. So I can see if I can get for you. Yes. Of course, yes. I want to come. Yes. This is amazing, Anaya. It is. Yes, Anaya, we love this. And I want to come too. Boss <laughs> man, no. I Jordan finally get you, boy. Yeah, boy. But I go be wet like you, boy. Thank you. You did not again, man. It was just something to mark the moment. Congratulations. Very happy for you. Thank you. You wanna run me the guys? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Hi guys. Hey. hey. Jordan, we'll talk later. Hi, bye, bye Kiandra. Hi, boss. When yeah, I'll talk to you, I'll talk to you. When when does all this happen, you and Kiandra? Well, we just start talking a lot after exams. Yeah, yeah. It's like... <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Come, come. So then don't forget we had our football match tomorrow evening, eh? We pin against my cousin, sorry. You mean the same cousin that you left my PlayStation controller to? Don't worry about that, now nah, he could bring the controller Somebody tomorrow say evening. Alright. Yeah. Uh, they're not talking about FIFA though, right? Nah, real thing, man, real oh. thing. Alright. Where y'all plan on playing though? I'll buy the zone. The zone? Yeah. The zone? Sweet bread? I don't you. think up there's safe, you know. Okay. Growing up, I'll spend a little bit of time there and up there not safe at all. Where are you guys flying to go? 
Ma, Ma, we just going and play football. In this zone, right? The way, come on, Auntie. Jordan. No, no, no. Auntie. N O. Where we go in is the safe part. That part we're going and play real safe. It's an open zone, and we're going to have a little football match. That means always how can I tournament on that field? I am still not comfortable with that. Come now, Auntie. I have nobody go harass us. I have family up there. Carol, listen to Leah. I don't know what you're talking about. You see that part of the field? That is a safe part. Nobody ain't gonna interfere their mind with the place personally. Let the fellas and them get a little break now, man. They're beating book all the time. University coming up just now. Let them get a little rest. Now. All right? Don't watch me with them puppy dog eyes there, you know. I will let you go, but promise me one thing. Don't go in the house in here, please. 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 All right? I don't know why he didn't pass the ball to me, you know. <laughs> have no way we now lost, bro. Ah, uh, prestige school, boys. There's your, there's your star scholar. Couldn't save you today. Ah, ah, ah. You're bringing the controller? No way. That, you see, when I leave, them fellas were still playing. Man, tell you, bring the controller. Take it from them. We can go fight now, though. Leon, I know going there, you know. All the fellas going? Go. Still have to get the controller. Leon, bye. I'm not. Every ride, right, we don't want to take long. It's not fine. I'm not going there. Man, we're not going to take long. We just get the control and come back. There you go now. Come back, come back, cool. There you go now. There you go. Something so salty now, man. You're moving like when I call me in FIFA last week. How are we, Jay? You know, you get that by luck, you know. Luck, what? I'm sure I could do that again. Luck, man. Leon. It's in big. Leon, I'm not going inside there. Eh? Okay, come on, bag yourself. No, no, no. Bag yourself. Make yeah. it quick, please. Alright, alright, alright. Ah. Yeah. So yeah. Where's he coming now? Nah, but he ain't coming anyway. Really. You seem to have a good one. The boy moving around, jumpy, bro. Yeah, but he's very jumpy. Ah. Oh, ah, you could call Leon for a place. Go hard, now, boy. You could, you could call Leon for a place. Who's Leon? Well, I guess your cousin, boy. You inside, her? Yeah. Go inside, now. Watch, watch. Make it quick, now. Come, boy, get up, boy. Go, 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 go. Get a boy, boy, get a boy. Boy, you really easy, boy. boy get a boy, boy, get a boy. This is not even a challenge. Nah, uh -huh. look cool. Hey, boy, yeah. get a boy, boy. Leon, I can talk to you a second, please. Hey, yeah, Keanu, show him. Show him. Leon, what wait, is it? Wait, wait, wait. Watch it, watch it. Watch it, watch it. I love it, I love it. I love it, I love it. What? Dog, you can't beat me, boy. Hey, you shy too hard, man. You can never beat me, boy. Never, boy. Looks like peas. Never. Leon, please just get my controller, let me leave. No, boy. But if you feel like trying to do that, trying to get control. Boy, the only thing he's doing right now is losing. <laughs> Chris, he does talk too much. Oh, you ask a lot, boy, he does win tournaments. Them? Does win tournaments? Well, so that's it. But let him be left. Yeah, no, dog. You have nothing on Jordan, no? Leon, just get my control. Boy, that was one game, and I got distracted. Boy, Jordan, come on and play a match and beat up these fellas. Boy. Something like them men and them, free criminal. Now we know them. Them do what I want. We got legs on the field, boy. Right? These fellas think we can play no kind of football. Not on line. 
on the field, come and play one match, man. One match and beat them. You promise one game. One game. Yeah. You go see who is him with all the mouth now. Uh, come and take a game now, boy. Come here. Uh, how you wear the legs? You wear the legs fast or you wear the legs loose? Come, come, come. There you go, there you go. This boy and then go on. This boy. Go there, go there. Go there. This boy, go there. Go there. Ref! Will you see that? But how you do that move? Hey, I just use a completely different formation. 4 yeah. 2 3 1, narrow. Not beating that if I'm using it. Mm. Never. But this man could beat Bishop. I feel like I'll call you Einstein with that moves. Boy, Einstein, what? Boy, the referee teeth in, and he just gets a couple lucky goals, boy. But when you yeah. say you have like luck, when you legs, you know, get legs, boy. Nah, but bro, you could play. Respect. Yeah. Respect. You feel I teach him all that, too. Hush now. Bye, Einstein, yo, lay your next one, boy. Do your finger teeth this time? You ain't gonna get no lock hole, and go on it and see what we're going to do. Wanna play again? Go. go. Wait, no problem. We're gonna hear this feel, boy. All I need to do is Daddy, you can pass me a piece of coconut. Sure, sugar, no problem at all. Who's a coconut, babe? I'm real hungry. That's all fish, too. Sleep in between now, wake up. We can play this one. This all fish in there. A big piece of egg for a big man. All right? Big man. Mm hmm. I know your father say, give you a little chance to enjoy yourself and relax, you know, for the next couple months. But I find you're real overdoing it, okay? You're not even coming for worship anymore. However, every day, you're religiously going to play football up in that place with whoever knows with whom. Ma, it's just me, Leon, a few guys that we just be there with. I look like Leon's mother. I am not Leon's mother, okay? My concern is you, Jordan Bartholomew, my son. Ma, this is my rest time. University starting in September, and I wouldn't have any time to play football. And I did my personal worship before I came here this morning. Really? Them two little mamsy pamsy words you just whisper when you jump out your bed. No, you call that worship, right? No. By the way, your acceptance letter came since last week. Did you find time to fill it out? Ma, I will get it. When, Jordan? September? I guess after you finish all your relaxation. Ma, all this talk, I just wake up. I, I, I can't deal with it. Ah, no, in you, right? Babes, babes, today. Trust me, he will get it done today. All right, Jordan? Yes. Cool. Well, hear what? You're not only filling it out today, but you will drop it in one time. How that song? All right. Yeah? And your bank card came. So. Pay your registration with it one time. Today. Today. I have a game this evening. Game? I'll see about this. Is. And I, uh, we have to open up a special account for you, your brother, because of the scholarship. So that is the banker that your mom talking about, all right? That is specifically for the scholarship. Right, sir? Yes. Nice. Oh, jeez. Granny, make this movie. 
Quash this thing better. Always better, boy. As it should be. Not a concentrate from the bottle. So weird. Here was the plan for today, right? Just to be certain, <coughs> I will drop you to carry that application and pay a registration. All right. Good. But, Mommy, you're supposed to carry me out today. We're supposed to meet Renal and Shalice to get my dress for my award ceremony. Ooh. You forget? Forget. Sorry, mm -hmm. sorry. Jay. Sorry. After drop you on my way to work back, I promise to wait for you. Because I have an important meeting in work today, all right? Yeah, that's all right. I'll travel and go and meet the fellows to sweat. Mm -hmm. Sweat. Again, Jordan? Ma. It's every day. Ma. We talk about this already. Babes. Babes. Let me drop Jordan. You drop Anaya. Let me end this talk, right? My interest right now is some of that cocoa tea, that nice cocoa tea that you make that are tasting like my mother own. Give me some of that now. Well, tasting like your mother own. Or are you trying to tell me you don't like my cuckoo tea? I ain't saying so at all, babes. All I'm telling you is that this is the real thing. Not that pack tea that all you buying in the grocery recently. Brian. But the, the last thing I told Jordan was I was putting his documents in a brown envelope and resting it on his desk. When you finish writing your application, take a, just take up everything. You're telling me now he, he, how, how he forget that? How? Jordan has to be more responsible. Yes, I put everything. Birth certificate, immunization card and everything that he needs. All he had to do was take up the envelope. Hello? No, you're breaking up. You're breaking up. Hold on, eh? Hold on. Y'all like this dress? Yeah. Oh, the like colors them. nice. Yes, I love the colors. But you find that's your style? Yes, I really like it. I, um, think, that, I think that will look good on you. Yeah, I'm going to check to see if they have my size. Alright. Yeah, I like that one together. Mm. Like a, a jacket over it. Let me see. Mm -hmm. but I like this Oops. one more. I feel what like do you this. think? I feel Wait like now, Anaya. Maya? What are you doing down this side, girl? Girl, I just come to get a dress for the award ceremony. Oh, how I really see your name on your list in the in the next door. I didn't even know she coming to you. Hmm. We just go in the after party though, but I know you're not on that. Maya, you know I'm not going that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, Anaya. Hi, Akanai. <laughs> how you doing? Um, your lady's ready? Yeah, we're ready, but Anaya, fashion icon always have the thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Anaya, I must say, that piece you did, you definitely deserve that award. Thanks. Yeah, you come into the after party. We could catch up. No, she not on that. Let me go. She not on that? No. Oh, too bad, too bad. You still have my number from the time when it is we did the project, right? Yeah, I think it's somewhere on my phone. It's on your phone? Yeah. All right, it was nice seeing you. You too. All right, bye, Anaya. Bye, Anaya. Nice to see you, Anaya. <laughs> <laughs> well, stop. <laughs> You all did a project together? More like I did the project. <laughs> <laughs> well, he really wants you to come to that after party. Yeah. Well, you know I'm not going to after party. That's have lots of drinking and fetting. That's not my thing. So, you yeah, well, they don't have my size in the dress, and I'm not really seeing anything else in the store that I like. Mm -hmm. Well, I found a few things in the church. Yeah. I really don't understand your father, you know. Will you find anything yet? Yeah? Well, yeah. come two dresses that I'm gonna try and see how it fits. Okay. I'm gonna try this one out. Hey, right. hey. Hey. Now, where's your boy? Hey. Just tell him, I'm real hot boy. Where you going? <laughs> Where you going? I, I told him I'm slide. That is why I was chasing with these two. Oh, no. You also? Mm mm. You sure? Yeah, nah, I good, but. I heard so long, you. Real. I need to take a leak, boy. No, come, slide. Hey, slide. 
Hey, go away, go away. Squares, you know, you know, you know. Put it on. Squares. Nah, nah. When Einstein come, give him the control. I'll play some more. I can't tell him about Einstein. He's taking on the bathroom. One more game. I won one more. There you go. Yeah, fellas, square up that I reached there, you know. What? That I hear? This is what? Eh, is your ability? Eh, but I'm too bad in sales, but no, no. Squares, forget on about you, you see that I hear? Squares, relax now. Yeah, it's supposed to be right here. I play there after I count it. Behind you. Right here. Hey, Kaki. Eh, take off that game now, but you see that I hear? Take off that game. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bless. That I. What are you saying? Cool. Hold up for me. Hey, Dara, what are you saying, boy? Hey, hey bro. Ah, we think they are. Uh... What's going on here? Who's that? Well, that's my cousin. I'm talking to you, dog. Who's that? That is, that is, that is Squares. Squares? This is a place of business, brother. All right? They have people just coming up in my place. What's going on with you? Wait. Who is this now? Who is this? Why? Well, that is hey, a... talk fast, brother. I just want to know who that is. That is Einstein, now, boy. That is, that is Square's friend. Einstein? Yeah, he wins the squad. And then you just come to play with FIFA, now, boy. FIFA? This is at an arcade. When I come here, it's business I have to do. And go my way. You can't have people in my place. You have to let me know who come in here and who not come in here. What going on with you? Well, really, and truly, that uh, these fellas normal, and we are just taking a little pull in here. Yeah. A little pull in? Yeah. yeah. We um we yeah, we are normal and we just share nothing and see nothing. Ah uh, yeah. <coughs> yeah, Dada, uh, tell uh, them them cool, but uh, tell uh, even scholarship and things. Yeah. Scholarship, boy. Einstein, what's your government name? Um, Talk fast, I knew you. Jordan Bartholomew. Jordan Bartholomew. Oh, that name something familiar, so boy. He was in the papers or something? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's a bright boy. Ah, I can use him for something, you know, dog. Right, I go, I go talk to you. So give me this, I'm going to go my way. My shades there. But just watch me. When you have people in my place, just let me know before now. Yeah, man. Yeah, man? Yeah, man. Alright, well, it's a blessing, yeah, right? Yeah. Hey, Katrina Jordan inside and away, hey. Boy, you know, I tell you, I was quaking and over. Shut up, you always quaking. I feel you born quaking. Boy. Stop, are you getting there? Hold up. But I cannot do that girl they like me before she like he. Do you know that truth, man? I don't recall this story going in that direction, eh? I don't know. <laughs> Good. Squares, why does it lie so much? Just be small, you always making up something, eh? <laughs> that's not funny, man. 
Eh, uh, anyhow, before I forget, boy, Einstein, you have a big match Wednesday, boy. We seen, boy. You need a top striker come to now. Eh, yeah, but where's that one, boy? That's my strike. But that's my position, boy. Spears, we actually want to win, you know. Um, I, I can't make Wednesday. I have this university orientation to go to. The what orientation is that, boy? My forget that, boy. The game, boy. Is uh, orientation for first years. So, boy, we need it, boy. Black Knight always beating me, boy. Fed up with them beating me, boy. But we don't yeah, need the man, boy. He knows say he has something to do. Dog, squares, squares. We don't need you, dog. <laughs> we are top striker, but uh, put it in our boy's chest thing, boy. I inside, so you say, come in. Come now. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, I'll Die come. will be talking, right, I will. Take nice. a pull for that, my G. Yeah. Ah, Sister Gardner. Yes, sir. So, I picked up some measurements. Mm -hmm. Everything looks good. Okay. I'm going to look at some sketches and I'm going to prepare a quote for you and we'll see where we'll take it from there. But everything looks good thus far. I need it just about a week and I'll talk with you again. Okay. And we'll see how we can deal with this. All right. Yeah. Wait now. You guys smell something? Yes, yeah, somebody smoking. It smells like weed or so. This damn young fella is only weed and football. Uh oh. And I have to put up with that. Every day. Oh my goodness. Every day. Them young fellas have no ambition. Only wasting their life away. Oh shucks. It's some more as if they're smoking their lives away. Gosh. Look at it. Wait now. Mm. That is not a Brian's son I see smoking. Yeah. Wow. That's Do Jordan. Oh dear. I didn't expect this. Um, Mm. And he father is the head deacon and right. the mother is the prayer ministry leader. Mm. And that is what the son is doing. I wonder if they know about that. Uh, maybe not, maybe not. But well, let's see how it goes from there. I will talk with you next week. And um, I will talk with you next week, yeah? But by the way, you know we must pray for these young boys. They need yeah. prayers, you know. We will pray for them. <clears throat> yeah, you do that. Okay. Yeah. okay. As a mother, I'll do that. Okay. I Good. promise. Alrighty. Jordan Bartholomew. This is the last time I'm going to ask you this question. Jordan, were you smoking? And I already said no. And we know you're lying, Jordan. You're lying! People saw you smoking. Who oh, people? The probably city fellows that I was with, but I was not smoking. Jordan, they saw you smoking. They saw you smoking and they saw you smoking weed. Nah, couldn't be me. You know you're saying nah. Jordan Duffy saw you. Duffy saw you with a group of fellas yesterday and he saw you smoking weed, brother. If it was only Duffy, it was fine. Sister Gardner. Hmm. Sister Gardner. Hmm. Saw you, Jordan. And this is not a joke. You know what that means? Eh? Ever since you started climbing with them fellas and them up there, I see a change in you. Brandi, so I was telling you, don't let the boy go there, you know. And I should I listen to you, Carol? Okay, one. One. I take one pull. But weed legal? What is the problem? Weed legal? That is the best answer you could come up with. Weed legal? I never. I thought I could hear such stupidness coming from your mouth, boy. Leave it alone now. Leave what alone? Jordan, where my bank card? In my wallet. Give me it, please. Remember, it's a joint account we have, eh? 2000 dollars missing from the account. Two thousand dollars, yes, sir, Carol. Yes. $2,000, Jordan. What did you do with the money? So what if to, that is my money? I went and buy food. So we supposed to believe you spent $2,000 in doubles. Right, Jordan? And it's not your money. Let us get this thing straight. The government didn't give you no money for scholarship yet. This money is what your father and I have been saving for you for education. It's not for you to spend willy-nilly and while. Better all, it give me that bank card. Anaya, keep order this conversation, please, all right? All right now. Jordan. Jordan. 
Jordan, this is serious boy. Jordan, you smoking marijuana? That ain't even sounding good coming from my mouth. Boss man, you understand how you're messing up your life? Hey, what are you overreacting? Once I smoke and what, uh, as a addict, all of a sudden or something? Once. Watch how much times I could have smoked in school and I chose not to. Smoke once, some people from church saw. So what? It is not a big deal. It's not a big deal, Jordan. It's not a big deal, Jordan. Lord Father help. Jordan is not a big deal. I smoke because we are celebrating after winning our game. That is your last game, eh? That is your last game, and as a matter of fact, I don't even want you going up by that area. Cool? I agree. And we don't want you inter interacting with them fellas and them at all, at all. So, at all. so what? Uh, is a child or something? Well, you're behaving like one. Because your, your action is not responsible at all. Only bringing embarrassment on this family. Carol. Youth man, take a time out. Right now, it's church and university alone for you. Lining at football or the window. Take a time out. All right. Yeah, my bad, right? My bad. I forget. This is the holier than thou family, right? My bad. I embarrass in a little. I just wouldn't go to church no more. So you feel you're going to church to please us, right? You're going do to I church for us. Do I have you feel like you're not friends you're talking to, Jordan? Carl. Carl, babes. Babes. We talked to him already. Leave him alone. Leave him alone alone. You know, if that was me, mommy ready to hit me and slap. Anaya, go in the room. Anaya, I talked to you already, you know. Brian, this serious boy, Jordan, smoking weed. Brian is weed, the boy smoking. Babes, I just as disappointed at you. But we have to be careful how we pushing him. Carol, Jordan is a decent fella. I know that. It's one politic in marijuana. And we have to remember marijuana legal now, you know? Listen, I don't care how legal it is. One smoke, one smoke, Brian, could destroy him. One. Babes, you have any idea how many mistakes I have made in life growing up as a youth? You have any idea? But Carl, thank God, today I'm a better person for it. Boy, I don't know, nah. Jordan, Jordan, changing. I watching him long time, he changing. Imagine Jordan lying to us, man. Jordan. Yeah, I'll have to find some way to come. I don't know yet. Mm-hmm. I'll give him a second, I'll call it back. It's open. Jordan. We need to talk. Shoot. Jordan, I hope you understand that your mom and I have your best interests at heart. You know? I hope you really understand that. Since the other day with that session that we had, you have not said a word to your mother. Apparently, you're still upset. I mean, yeah, of course I'll still be upset. I mean, more so more because I've been treated like a child. This is my life, no? Jordan is your life, yes. We agree with that. But you're talking about marijuana. You're talking about one smoke, but it's marijuana, Jordan. I know you guys mean well. Um, I know it was a mistake. But, you know, I, I, I never gave Ole any trouble. I always had good grades. I never did anything like this before. Gee, I know that, son. I, of all people, know that. I take the time to sit and think about it, and uh, I'll talk to Marcy. I was telling your mother that just last night. Let's give you some time, some time to relax, to cool off a little bit. But come September, it's university and university alone, okay, son? Yeah, that's no problem, but speaking about university, I have 
my orientation this evening. Yeah, she was talking to me about that. And I have no problem with that. That is all part of university life. Jordan, our problem is that zone that you're visiting. Church, university, we good with that. You see the zone? We don't want you around there. All right, son? That's not a problem. Nice talking with you, G. Later. Yeah. I'll make it this evening. Yeah. I'm sorry, boy. I'll take this one for you, boy. Tired, boy. There, this is yours, boy. What? Nah, boy, I can do it, I can do it. Let me take it. Let nah, me take it. nah, squares, whole game you're playing off, boy. Forget that, boy. Squares, nah. relax now. Nah. I'm sign, it's all up to you now. Yeah, dog, I'm good. 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 Dog, Squares, but he better than you, boy. He forgot how to licks with you, boy. Squares, boy. He's saying, man. Squares, you can't handle the pressure. You just quake too much. Eh, eh, Ali, leave the man alone now. But, dog, I don't need your help, and I'm better than you, boy. <laughs> squares, back, yes? Yeah? Squares, eh. Forget I talk and go and get something from Red Man for you to smoke now, yeah, boy. Yeah, eh, yeah, we yeah. celebrating, boy. You the man of the hour hits. Squares, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I tell him, yeah. Yeah, but you see that small lady, right? Yeah, sweet, man. Right? Oh, what's going on? Camera, son, for the thing. Yeah, well, go and get the bag and bring it back there. Yeah. Yeah. So she from here? Yeah, she's from a party, man. Like, yeah, like that right here, like. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to talk, it's okay. This is the thing, yeah? Nah, boy, that's the wrong bag, boy. The wrong bag? Yeah, take from the next one. Why, boy? Boy, that one had the hard with the black weed, boy. I'll send you mad, boy. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, it's on your mark. Yeah. I went for the champion, the champion alone. But. Ah, boy, Einstein, you get true, boy. <laughs> This one is a little different. Mm -hmm. That special one. That one's a champion. It is our champion. <laughs> yeah, well, I know you can handle it now, boy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going back and sweating. So fix up. No idea, would. Wait.
Brian. Yeah, Carol. By chance you went in my bag and took out any money? Carol, you know, even if you send me in your bag, I'm not going. What's the problem? Money missing. I guess you put some in your just remember? No, I empty out the bag and everything. This is money to help Sister Shelly. Jordan, by chance, did you go into my bag and to get, take Sorry, any money? Hold on. First, as I embarrass someone, now I's a thief. I never said that. I came and asked your father and I'm asking you now. Right? I never say you're a thief. Carol, sure. Carol, maybe the money fall out your bag. Let's go back, just go back, retrace the steps and check again. Ah, girl, uh, Einstein, dog, you gotta pay for that, uh. you're breaking the card, not rule, boy. You don't smoke out your own supply, boy, dog, boy. That I don't play, no, dog. Uh, you, you don't worry, no. I could handle myself. Here, yeah, pull this, put this on my top. Dog, you realize you're still short, right? You, you're smoking more than your PNG. Dog, don't be tough now. That's your champion, you go fix up. Yeah, tomorrow. Ah, yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be. All right, just now. Boy, this is not WhatsApp. Open the door. But since when you just locked the door? Just give me the phone, please. Hello? Hello? You're forgetting it. Don't get good signal in the bedroom. Hello? Yeah, I hear you now. How come you didn't answer the phone? My phone was dead, I forgot to charge it. Oh, well. I can't talk too long, but I've been messaging you also and you wasn't answering recently, so you had my little worried. Yeah, I was busy preparing for university, but how long until I come back? Next week. Can't wait till we lime, though. Kendra? Yeah, Dad? Are you ready? We don't want to be late? Yeah, come in, Dad. Well, Jordan, I have to go. I'll try and talk to you later. Please charge your phone. Yeah, uh... Have a good one. Bye. Bye. Hey. Jordan, what is this? What are you doing digging through my things? No, Jordan, what is this? The drugs? Weed, Jordan? You smoking weed? That, that is not mine. I was holding it for somebody. No, it looked to me like you was preparing to smoke. And now that is the truth, you need to believe me. Mommy gonna be so Ma? upset with you. Anna, how much times I hold your secrets and didn't say anything for years. And I know they'll overreact. Please, please do not say anything. Just give me and I'll go and carry it back. No, I'm not giving you this. I am keeping this bag. You could keep it, but just don't tell them anything. All right, I wouldn't tell them anything, but you're not getting back this far. All right, no problem. If this was only one time, it would not happen again.
Naya. How are you going, girl? I'm okay. I came to drop off this for your dad. He told me you would have been out. Oh, yes, he mentioned it. Thanks. Good. Um, all this well with you? Yeah. Lovely. Keep it that way. All right? So with that, I only run. You take care, okay? Okay. Uncle Dad? Yes? Um, can I ask you something? Of course. Um, if someone asks you to keep a secret for them, right? Mm -hmm. A very serious secret that can harm them in a very bad way. Should I keep that secret? Hmm. Mm. I get where you're coming from. Um, if you really care for that person, Anaya, um, you'll be helping them actually by telling someone else who can help that person. So if that is so, um, you would not be betraying their trust at all. At least you'll be really helping them. You'll be helping them in love. That's the way I see it. Um, I have something to show you. Uh huh. Okay. Now, what is this? Um, I think it's weed. I found it in Jordan's room. What? He was moving kind of strange, so I start looking around, and I saw it on his desk, so I took it. And I, this is not just weed. This is crack cocaine and weed. This is the stuff they use to make black weed. What? This is serious. This is serious stuff. This is nothing we could keep secret. You have to speak to your parents like no, so that they can intervene and find help for Jordan. You can't leave this right here. This is serious, Anaya. Wow. Now you have to work on this now. Good evening, Mr. Jordan. I said good evening. Now, nah, Brian, you see what I'm telling you? Something wrong with that boy. How oh, you can't see that? Look at his routine every day. He leaves home, goes for this long walk, come back home, goes straight in his room, and dies it. We don't know what happened inside there. Eh? The boy behavior is erratic. I feel it in my belly, boy. A mother doesn't know. Mommy. Mommy. Yes, um, I Dad. I have, yes, some I have something to tell on you. What it is? Um, Turn on our TV, please. It's about Jordan. Um, I found this in his room today. What's that? Weed? Um, it's not just weed. I when I showed Uncle Duffy today, he said, um, is Crack cocaine or black weed? Jesus Christ, crack cocaine? Black weed in my house? Jordan is a crackhead. Jordan! Jordan! Jordan, go tell him you come here right now, please. What? Why are you looking so? Looking how? Jordan, are you smoking? No. And we know you're lying, Jordan. Watch. Eh. Mm. Look at how you're looking. Watch. Watch how you're looking. And if you feel like Colon will hide that scent on you, it can't hide Jordan. Woman, leave me alone, please. Have some respect for your mother, please. Have some respect for her. What is this, Jordan? What is this? I already told Anna that is not mine. I was holding it for somebody. You're lying, Jordan. All you're doing is lie, lie, lie. Jordan, you bring in drugs in my house? You bring in coke in my house, Jordan. You bring in crack in my house, Jordan. Lord Jesus, my son on crack cocaine. Ma just said I'm not smoking. And we know you're lying, Jordan. You think we're stupid? I'm asking you one more time. I'm asking you one more time, boss man. Are you smoking in this house? Yes, but I'm not under control. Under control? Go down Independence Square. And go Riverside Cap, I can you see who have it under control? Yeah, she always on my case. Who is she? She, she stopped me from playing football. She only about university, university. I know why she don't mind she own business. What? You, you have to be crazy. Let me be crazy, boss man. Let me tell you something, Mr. Man. You have a choice today. 
is either you stop this choppiness smoking in my house or the door is yours. You heard me? Brian, how you could do that? Where the boy going? He has nowhere to go. I don't need help from you and I do have to stay here. And I hope you're happy because this is your fault. Jordan, Jordan, where are you going? Leave Brian, him, let, going? let him go. Let him Brian, go and how smoke. How the boy could go, Brian? Where are you going, Brian? I'm a child, Brian. Oh, <laughs> Brian, I'm a child. This is Jordan Bartholomew. Sorry, but I am unavailable at the moment. Nothing. Voice mail. Carol, don't worry. We will find him, okay? He must be by some friend or something. So, I finally got to it, Leon. But he said Jordan's not with him. And well, he made a call and found out that he spent the night by his cousin. Thank God. Where is this? Um. Up in the zone in the housing area. The zone? No, Carol. Mm -mm. You can't go up there by yourself. Sharon Gill, I don't care. I go in, that's my child. I go in for him. Well, at least take Leon with you. Yeah. Leon? Leon? That's the last person I want to hear or see. Leon mm. is the reason why my child is not here. I always used to tell Jordan, that is not your friend, boy. Elijah, maybe you could take her. You would know the area, you grew up there. I don't really know anyone up there, you know. I moved out there since I was like eight. But what I could say is that you can't go up there just so, unless you know someone. Mommy is in the car. I don't know if she would still know anyone from up there. Um, but I'm not sure if you would want to keep that private. Private? Look, boy, go and call your mother, please. So, what about the police? Can't we get the police to go up there and bring him home? No, it's not that simple, you know. You must remember that Jordan is an adult. He left here at his own free will. It's possible, I feel. If we get the police involved, <clears throat> it will make matters worse for Jordan. We have to be careful. We need to rethink that. Carol, Elijah, now tell me what happened to Jordan. Mm -hmm. So sorry to hear that. But what street he on? Um, let me check the message he on sent. He on huh. 4th Street. What? 4th Street? Carol, you definitely can't go up 4th Street. You cannot go up there. Even when I used to live up there, I couldn't even go outside. You can't risk that girl. But you know what? We could. The only person I know could go up there is, is my ex-husband, Sharon. Okay. Good. But, hmm, Carol, he, since he didn't get invited to Elijah's wedding, he don't speak mm. to me. So the only link we have is if Elijah call him. Uh, he will answer Elijah if Elijah call him. So we can let Elijah call him. But Elijah, he'll call him. All right, I'll call him. Thank you, Elijah. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, son. Scholarship, wake up, boy. No, oh, Pam. Cannot tell me you wanted to stay here a couple of days? What's that about? Yeah, it's only a few days. A few days? But that is not a hotel, you know. You feel easy higher, you can just come here and just sleep. We have bills to pay in this place, you know, brother. And I still take you owe me some money from the black weed that you did take some time ago. What's going on with that? You start that now? I had a knock and chill and it's only a few hundred dollars. I'll pay it back. You don't need to worry about it. A few hundred dollars. Everybody just say the same thing, brother. Listen what we do for me, eh? Go in the back. Help them fellas bag all the weed on them. And then if you teeth anything, 
Me and you go get real vex, eh? Okay. So go, and go now, now. Go now. Yes, sir. Hey, my son, boy. Look, Sharon, as I said before, the only reason you're here right now is for us to get Jordan. I don't want the small talk. So wait, we're on a first name basis now? Papa? So were you really expecting me to call you? Daddy? Look, you don't have to talk to me. But I have a few things that I need to say to you. Here what's going on? I was angry at your mother after the divorce. Right? I know she had to leave, don't get me wrong. Because of the role that I was playing at that time, I know she can deal with it. Right? But I. Uh, don't, I uh, look. Don't sugarcoat nothing for me. We're big men. You don't think I know what you put mommy through, what you put us through? It was always an issue for you to get school books for me. You used to hold child support over our head all the time. But this year wasn't there. Sharon, don't get me started. Look, I know I messed up. And I was wrong for thinking that your mother would have stayed with me. Right? My father was a drunkard. And he used to abuse my mother. But she stuck it out. I was wrong for thinking that Marion would have done the same. Right? So, to have plenty moments I'm not proud of, son. But one thing I know is that I'm proud of you. And the excellent job that Marion would have done with you to bring her to where you are today. Look at you. You have a degree, you get married, you settle down, you have a ride. Now I would have apologized to your mother. But it's my role here today to apologize now to you. Son, I am sorry. You done? <laughs> I asked before done, yes. Yeah, done, I done. Any news? Will the place coming up there? Let me pull up. Elijah, you stay in the car. Pops, who's you? Good Where evening. Are? Dada wrong? It's not bad, but you can't just come here and ask for Dada, just... Pops, go! Balance yourself, youth man. Dada wrong? Hey! Boy, hey, you what there? Hey, though? hey, what going on here? Boy, Dada, this man just come here asking for you, but you mad, you're my daughter, man. Nah, you know who this is? No. Nah, don't come wrong here. He's that old man here, it was like my father, dog. Oh. You understand? When my father gets shot, he come and take care of me and my mother. Oh. Right? Sure, no going on. You could have called. I have a matter to deal with you personally. Who is that? You have a youth named Jordan inside by you there? Yeah, scholarship. Scholarship. Mm. You know that man family personally. Mm. Good church people. Mm. Right? And he's a good one. A good one you're saying? I was just say. Scholarship owe me money in a dog. How much are you in here? About two stacks. Only two stacks? Yeah. Put that on my tab. Put it on your tab, you say? I was just say. What's the scholarship for me? Nine cents. So going on with you? I'm just cool, man. Living the life. Living the life, yeah. eh? How your mother going? Yeah, she good. The leaks and pains, but she alright. What's going on with your face? Nah, time. All that grey coming time, from time, you. Was my son or no? I was just in the box doing something. Go for one. Yeah, this fella here, he pay that. Go with him. I, I don't he, know who he's going right. Come, youth man, come. Go with him. Elijah by the car. Watch me, I send him with you today. But I show you'll come back because you're not black weed dog. Black weed. Yeah, I'm telling you, serious. Or yourself. I go sort him out. You go sort him out? I was say. I know sin. We'll right? go link later. Right? Take care of yourself. Yeah, bless. Hello. Can you car? Look, Elijah, best all ahead out of here. 
I go take a walk back. In a safe place to be. I understand how it is. Yeah, the whole next family, right? He was like a son to you too. And look how he turned out. Big truck dealer. Have a set of youth mind control and them wasting with their life. Elijah, the best thing that happened to you was your mother taking you away from me. That was a blessing. Look how you turn out. Any news, any news. See this youth man here? You need to tell his family, get him far away from here. But this, this life that we take in there, he will come back. Right? Sharon. Thanks for everything. She reached in time for Anaya. Yes, grandson. I hear you fall in some bad company, but you need to watch that. Let's go here, Granny. You know, friends just carry you and they don't bring you back. Granny don't want nothing to happen to you, you know, grandson. Mm hmm. Um, still do our signal up here. But is only the landline alone we have up here. You know we don't have them cell phone thing like what all the others have. You forget up here is country. But one piece of advice I have to give to you, grandson, is you can call on Jesus anytime. All right, girl. And he will hear you. All right. You don't need all of that cell phone thing. Call mm -hmm. on Jesus. Mm -hmm. What I want you to do is to go and put down your bag on your in your favorite room because look, granny don't make Bake, coconut bake, your favorite, and bhaji and fresh movie that I boil. I got it, yeah. Yes, it was a nice ceremony. Ah, Anaya, congratulations! Congratulations! <laughs> We got the whole thing on video, so us when when they call your name. Yes, I did, and I heard you too, really. <laughs> Anaya, we are so proud of you. Thanks, Auntie. Yes, but um, sorry, Mom and Dad wasn't here to celebrate this occasion with your girl. <laughs> really, really sorry about that. Congratulations, Anaya. Thanks, Maya. Can I wait in any car? No, I have to go. Bye bye. All right. So, Anaya, you need me to drop you home? Um. That's all right, Auntie. I'll get all the food, my friend. You sure about that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, Shalice, what about you? Oh, no thanks. My parents are on their way. All right, okay, no problem. Look at this award on here. Oh, nice. Yes. Oh, Lord, Father, where is this child? Sharon, girl? Not yet. She's not, still not answering. Well, you know, I had offered her a drop home, you know. 
But she told me that she was going with her friends. Girl, I don't mind that, you know. But answer your phone. Look at the time. I need to know where she is. It's almost 12 o'clock in the night. I ready to sleep. I don't know where my child is. All we need to know is that she's okay. Answer your phone, Naya. She just upsetting me right now. Well, Carol, she didn't say anything to me, eh? But mm. Anaya was a bit upset that none of y'all came to her award ceremony. Not one. Yeah. That is still no reason for her to behave like that, okay? I was trying my best to come back in time. As you know, I went up in the country to drop Jordan by his grandmother. Brian was waiting for me in the office, poor thing, with all the drama that going on with Jordan. All his work backing up on him. Anaya knows these things. We discuss this as a family. I was just trying to call and let her know what was happening. Oh, gosh, man. But the point of it is this, eh, Carol? You didn't really have to go. And drop Jordan, you know. Mm. Elijah was willing to carry him. But you chose to go knowing fully well that this afternoon was Anaya's award ceremony. And it was an important event to her. Listen, my son, Anaya's brother, is dealing with a whole lot right now, okay? Uh -huh. Anaya just needs to stop her childish behavior and support her brother. Carol, you all ever stop to consider Anaya's feelings in all of this? Anaya was always called the troublemaker. Because she was. Carol, listen to me. And listen to me well, dear sister. Mm -hmm. You see, when we were growing up, mm. I was the troublemaker. Yeah. I was the one that get pregnant young. Mm -hmm. I got married young. Mm -hmm. I got divorced young. Mm -hmm. I am the one that brought shame and scandal to the whole family. And I had to go back by daddy and live. I was considered the great disappointment. Yes. <laughs> right? I'm telling you all of this just mm. to say, mm. consider Anaya. You see that award she got this afternoon, Carol? Mm -hmm. It was very important to her. Although it wasn't as the scholarship that Jordan got, it was still very important to Anaya. And do feel that Anaya don't love her brother, you know. Anaya loves her brother all. I know that, you know, Sharon, and all that you're saying, you're very correct. But listen, you see right now, girl? Mm -hmm. yeah. I want to sleep. My child outside. Uh -huh. My head full of worry for Jordan. Hmm. And Brian going to look for Anaya. Oh, God. I hope he find her because Renal tell him go to some after party that the young people were having to look for her and I really hope he finds her. Yeah, I, so I hear what? So. I will call you as right. soon as they reach home. Okay. Yeah. All right? Yes. Thank All right. you, darling. You're welcome. Okay, right. Rudy. Okay, bye-bye. Hey. Hello. What's up? Hey. Um, you seem upset. Something happened? No, um, nothing didn't happen. Could I borrow your phone? My sure, phone is sure, 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 no problem. Somebody tell you something? Something happened? Did I do something? Oh, no, um, you mm -hmm. didn't do anything. It's just that I have a lot on my mind right now, and honestly, I can I? This whole party thing is not my thing. I am very uncomfortable and accustomed to these things, and I just want to go home. I just want to call a taxi and go home. Uh, I would organize and take you home. It's all right. Um, it's all right. You could um, go into the party with my and I will call a taxi. You call a taxi now. Remember, I brought you here, so I insist. I, I should definitely take you back. You cool with her? Um, I guess. Okay. Sure. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go now. Brian. Naya? Yes. Naya, come here, please. Yes, mommy. Naya, where's your father? Daddy. I don't know where daddy is. 
I got job too. So you didn't come with him? No. So where have you been, madam? Well, I went to my award ceremony that I've been planning to go weeks now. And then I went to a party with a few friends. So why you couldn't answer your phone, Naya? We were worried about you. Worried about me? Mommy, you don't have to be worried about me. How's your son, my granny, though? Oh, he's fine. Jordan is fine. And I really want to tell you, we're so sorry that we couldn't make your, your award ceremony. Mommy, it's okay. It's okay. You had to drop your son off by granny to make sure that he's okay. I'm cool. I'm fine. Naya, I just want to let you know that your father and I, we're really, really proud of you. Okay? <laughs> Daddy? The one who barely even knows what degree I'm doing? Who doesn't even know what award I was getting? It's cool. No. Carol. Babes, I've looked everywhere for, for, for Naya. I can't find her anywhere, Carol. Brian. Carl, we messed up. I messed up, Carl. My baby girl's award ceremony and I was named there. I can't afford to lose Anaya just like I lost Jordan, Carl. I can't. Daddy, you didn't lose me. Anaya? Anaya? Anaya, I'm so sorry. Babes, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry too. I'm sorry I didn't call. My phone was dead. Naya, we are all so busy and caught up with Jordan and worried about him. You know, we're really, really sorry. I'm worried about Jordan too. What's gonna happen to him? Is he gonna be okay? Naya, I really can't answer that question. I really can't answer that question. But I want to tell both of you. God is in control. God is in control, okay? Grandson? Yeah, Granny. Come, please. Granny want to make some fish for you. You know where Granny does have the money on the fr fridge? Look in the pan, you will see $200. I want you to go down on the beach and you see Mr. Boise. Tell him you want three pounds of kingfish. You remember where you're going? Yeah, I remember. Yeah. So you go and come back. All right. Hi, right, Tante. Nice car here for you. You know we just do it, right? Good, good. I fish for you, man. Come again, right? Thank you so much. All right, Tan. Hold on for your chin. Hold on, hold on. Thank you. You're welcome. How nice good. day, Tan. Who next? Who next? Come quick, quick, quick. Uh, no waste time. Bag up my thing for my house. Dollars, dollars. I don't want that weed smoking thing here. I don't talk to you already. My customers come to buy fish, not weed dollars. But do you know we don't walk these streets. It's run, we just run these streets. Sort of my thing now, boy. Yeah, you have any king fish? Yeah, man, for what? You have white? Yeah, um, right, you know where I can get service, sir? Service, sir, let me see where you are. Um, see that, that hill there? Yeah. Go up the hill? I'll be a good signal, right? All right, yeah. Come back for it, eh? Yeah. Jordan, I was trying to contact you. Yeah, well, I saw your messages, but right now by my grandmother, and you're saying, how can I pull? Well, I wanted you to know that I know everything and that we're praying for you. We mean you know everything and who we are talking about. When I was trying to call you, you weren't answering. So I called Anaya. She sounded too worried, so she couldn't tell me what was up. So I ended up calling Leon. He told me everything. Leon? What, what Leon say? 
Jordan is nothing to be embarrassed about. Kianja, what did Leon say? He said that you were on drugs and that you were doing cocaine now. But we as your friends, you know, we need to help you through these times. Pray for you and stuff. Me personally, my father. Kianja, I have to go. Wait, Jordan. Hey, Loku, where's the scene champion? Eh, uh, we doing talking to Kianja and telling she about my business for how I some drug addict. Brother, do we talking to she? Eh? But first of all, it's Kianja that called me. And I could talk to her if I want to talk to. Secondly, what am I like as I see you as an addict? Eh? That's what I thought, so don't come here and don't ship it talk. What well, ship it talk? Brother, you feel I don't know it's you who gave me that bad weed? Is your fault I addicted to this? By me? By you I or something, huh? Dog, I know it's you. You was always jealous of me. At school, on the field, in church, and now you're coming around Kiandra. Dog, I know you wanted to see me like this. By jealous? Dog, please, eh? Is you always feel you better than somebody? But I better than you. I will always be better. And cause this? By nobody ain't put no gun to your and say smoke this? You had a choice, and you choose to become a crackhead. So don't come here and be blaming me. But I have some things to do, eh? I don't know if you smoke weed, and want to come and talk this shit in in my head. But it's you messing up your own life. And here it is. If Kianja want to call me, she could call me. Look, dog. I don't go. Ah! Hey, you get you? Um, yeah, but you thought I'd be calling a black cat here just now. We got Dadas? Yeah. Right here, thanks. Hey, you want Stella? You want King Crystal? Come now, man. Are you seeing it, man? Do you have anything? <laughs> I came from wrong here, yeah, boy. You have everything right here, son. You have luck? That we you smoking, man, but we have it. But you are telling you, the 98% of the work cut. They know them petty things, it might be a custom to open out, so no, you're doing this, right? You get any ease? Any sleep? Absolutely none, girl. All right, Absolutely. Look up. I'll bring a tablet here for you. Yeah, Take that. that should help your headache. Mm. Carol. Mm. I've been studying Jordan for this entire day. I just can't get the youth out of my mind, and I feel that is why I have such a terrible headache. Me too. Uh, what we went wrong, boy? What, what we didn't do? I I don't know, you know. I really, really, really don't know. You think I was too hard on him going for exam and studying and how I didn't see this Carol, coming? Carol, Carol, don't do that. Don't do that. We have been good parents. Yeah, we made mistakes like any other parent. We made mistakes. But God knows that we always wanted the best for Jordan. We always went out on a limb for Jordan. What I've come to understand is that we can't make decisions for Jordan anymore. Jordan has to make his own decisions, Carol, and we just had to pray and hope that he makes the correct decisions. Well, I hope, you know, God talked to him and he listened. You know how he's stubborn. Stubborn like you. Look <laughs> your phone. Ring in there. It's mommy. Mm. Yeah, mom. When? Where? Six hours, but six hours is not long, mom. Mom, mom, do get flustered. Do start to get flustered now. All right, all right, so I'm gonna come down. Ye yes, mom, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna change now. I'm gonna change now and come down, all right? Mom, I told you relax a little bit, all right? All right, cool, okay. What man want to Jordan now? Hey, mommy said she sent out Jordan somewhere to do some errand 
and it's about six hours. But six hours is not long, Carol, and he hasn't come back. She pick up herself and she went searching for him. She didn't find him nowhere. She calling the cell phone. The cell phone just ringing. But you know the cell system down there, Carol, is not good? So let me go. Here now. Let us go. No, Carol. No, 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 no. You need to stay here and relax. I think, babes, I think I know where Jordan is. I have an idea where I could find Jordan. So here what? I go and get ready to go. You sit down, cool yourself, and I'll keep in touch with you, all right? Just, just go and find right. my child from my place. All right, babes, all right. Find my child. God protect my child. said, son, with Jesus, you can do anything. Now go and try again, son. Go and pick up the ball and try again, son. Dad! Daddy, I did it. Jesus helped me. Yes, Jordan. I'm very proud of you. Well done, my son.
Take your time. Take your time. Ma, okay. No, you're not. Can I hear? Yes, mommy. Come, please. Come in. Listen, you go and lie down. I'm going to make some soup for you, all right? Naya, just take him in this room for me, please. Take this back for me, Naya. Wait, I need to say something first. I apologize for everything. Um, thank you for putting up with my behavior. Um, I wouldn't do anything like this again. Jordan, it's all well and good to say you're sorry. But it's actually stopping it that matters. We've made some arrangements, all right? Son, we accept your apology, all right? And we are thankful to God for bringing our son back home safely and soundly. All right, go and take your rest. We'll talk later. Go ahead now, take him. Can I tell you that, Brian? The child apologizing and you carrying on with You the... know, if you had allowed me to finish, you would have understood just what I was saying, Carl. That young man needs to go to rehab. Carl, he needs the support. Listen, rehab is for a set of drug addicts. Okay, Jordan is not there as yet. Okay? I hope you realize every prayer that we prayed for him, God has answered. God don't start anything without finishing. God will continue to work for him. You think I deny that? You think I deny the power of God in this home? Carol, I went on the beach and find my son almost dead. The doctors say Jordan took an overdose, Carol, and he almost died. He needs the support, Carol. But we could support him home. Oh, gosh, the child no reach home. For all he's been through, let me just be happy that he's home now. He no reach home, B. Let me wait a little bit and see. Let's wait a little bit and see, and then we, depending on how things go, we will have that discussion. Mommy, you can come, please. Yeah, now you're coming. Let me wait a little bit now, please. All right, Carl. Thank you. All right, Carl. All right, let me go and see. Pastor, see right now, I'm real upset. Imagine with all that we have been going through to go to church. Hmm. And hear people just gossiping about your family. It's not a nice feeling. It's not nice. And I know exactly where it came from. I understand. Elder Charles and I do empathize with your current situation. Uh, let's not focus on where the gossip came from. Let's not focus there at all. It's unfortunate that that person decided to take the opportunity to gossip about what is happening. But don't worry about it, right? I've carded a visit with the individual later today, and I will have an important conversation with them about gossiping. Mm -hmm. And you know what is even worse? She called me hmm. and said, Sister, I'm praying for you and your husband that you all will be better parents. Mercy. So that your children will not be on drugs. Who does that? <laughs> Who? Mercy. What was she thinking? As your pastor, as a church's pastor, I want to apologize on her behalf because it's unfortunate that she decided to make those unkindly remarks. But don't focus on that right now. I want you to be encouraged knowing that your church family still loves you we're here to support you. We're here to help any way we can to help you come through the situation, right? I brought Elder Charles with me. I think he has a, a powerful testimony that might help encourage you all at this time. Brother and Sister Bartholomew, in the good book, Solomon said, there's nothing new under the sun. Trust me when I tell you that I can relate to what you're going through. 
Yeah. I had a tough, tough, challenging time growing up. When my father left, I gave my mother a lot, a lot of trouble. You and Lachaz? Yes. Believe it or not, as a teenager, I used to roll with bad, bad company. Wow. 13 years old, I was smoking cigarettes, later marijuana and alcohol. At 17, I was hooked on black weed, right? Which is a mixture of cocaine and marijuana, wow. right? This month, Thank God, will make it 26 years I am drug free. And I attribute that to, a, to my praying mother and to rehab. Elder Charles, nobody could imagine that you had a drug problem. And Brother Charles, you look like you can't even mash ants. Brother V, Sister Bartholomew, you all look at people and you all don't know people's true story. It's by God's grace and by me accepting that I had a problem, I was, that I was able to get the help that I needed from rehab. Rehab? I, I don't think Jordan reached there, you know. Um, I believe God can help and deliver him. Yes, God can. God is able. But a support system is very important to anyone who's an addict. And Jordan needs his family to intervene for him to fully recover. Right? I am also part of the rehab center. Hello, Charles. How, how, how does this rehab, this rehab center really work? Well, Brother B, while I was there, I met a lot of wonderful people, right? And as the days go by, I learned to change my behavior. So I would recommend that he goes with an open mind. I saw Pastor talking to you. Yeah, he, he was praying with me and uh, he said if I ever needed to talk with him, he was available. Jordan, I'm really sorry that I told mom and dad about the picture. I'm really sorry. Nah, um, I apologize for putting you in that position. It's just, but how? Like, how, how does all start? I don't know. Well, I do know, but you just know it wrong, but you still end up doing it. It's just some no pulling. You don't necessarily want to do it, but it's still another opponent. But you don't think that maybe you might need help? No. Not after the hospital situation. I could say that I'll never ever smoke again.
Happy Sabbath, everyone. Happy Sabbath. Thank you, Pastor, for the opportunity to testify. Today at this communion service, I stand here, product of God's grace and mercy. Amen. By now, many of you may know my story. These past few months have been the darkest chapters in my life. But I would like to thank God that He is writing my story. Amen. He is the author and the finisher of my faith. Amen. Choices. Life is about choices. And I have made some really bad ones. However, I thank God for choosing me. Yes. 
for remembering me. For loving a sinner like me. Amen. Amen. And for helping me find my way back to him. Church, we have a risen Savior. Amen. Yes. 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 Jesus is our life. Yes. The power of Jesus has changed my life. He freed me from the chains of addiction. Yes. Yes. It is through Jesus that I have received healing from my drug addiction. Jesus is in control of my life, not drugs. Yes, amen. I want to thank God for my family, who has been by my side, for their love and patience when I didn't deserve it. Ma, Dad, Anaya, I love you all. I want to thank God also for my church family, pastor and friends for praying for me. Ella Charles, thank you for reminding me that the closer I am to God, the farther away I am from addiction. Thank you. Church, unfortunately, addiction is an all too common issue. I want to encourage anyone battling with any form of addiction or any sinful behavior. Hold on to God. Humble yourself and cry out to Him. And by His grace, you can gain victory. Amen. If you take it one day at a time. Yes. As I end, I want to read, not sing, a hymn that has a new significance to my life. Amazing Grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Yes. I once was lost, but now I am found. I was blind, but now I see. Amen. Lord, you've blessed me with things I don't deserve. Lord, you've sheltered me all my days. Your mercy dwells with me. Your protection never leaves. But do I live for you in all my ways? So I must choose.
along the western main road of Coco Reeds sits a pillar of healthcare, resting on a rich history of accessible services and quality patient care. Welcome to the Community Hospital of Seventh-day Adventists. Join us as we explore our facilities and services. Every aspect of our facility promotes an experience of comfort and care. From calming colors that fill every space, adding to a peaceful hospital visit, to our team of healthcare professionals dedicated to providing you with the highest level of care. At the community hospital, we practice a philosophy of whole person care. Sometimes that means getting an inside look for a clearer picture. Through earnest commitment to service, we are truly a hospital for the community and not just in name alone. TCH or the community hospital is committed to making sure that we fulfill the vision we have for the hospital, which is to make the community hospital the preferred hospital for Trinidad and Tobago. A place committed to keeping Trinidad and Tobago and the Caribbean healthy, that is the community hospital. 